rock and roll and stop feeling so blue cause I'm a wanted to be a musician and I always thought of myself as a musician but um, I got divorced and I came here up to my ears in debt and um, I ended up looking after my children so those decisions were all made for me I'm, I'm not in Orkney because I think it's cool to be in Orkney I'm in Orkney because my bank manager thinks it's cool to be in Orkney and it's just a, very much a matter of getting out here I mean here we are in uh, Orkney Orkney? Yeah, Orkney. And I exist in Springs. I was going to say live in Springs. I exist in Springs. So it's a bit difficult to get together to get the stuff down on tape. That is the only difficulty. Once the two rats are joined, there is no stopping us. We just slap stuff down left, right and center and anyone that gets in the way as well. Suddenly there was this band in Springs and they were playing their own music and we were amazed that it also that it was so good as well. And the more repression there was, the more the kids rebelled against it and the more that subculture grew and uh, that's, I think, uh, music was one of the outlets for the kids. And also there's nothing to do in Springs. So a lot of it, it was motivated out of boredom just to do something, anything, play the guitar, write a song. Although still nobody ever not many people ever came to the gigs and that. But at least it gave some of us a meaning for our lives. But you still in Springs, hey? The center of the universe, yeah. Welcome to my car. But, but people 
people give you songs, they'll be, they'll be talking to you. A guy called Paul Boerter, you might know Paul Boerter from Pauline's crew. Mm. He was talking about his merciless landlord, you know. So, I mean, there was the song, Me and My Merciless Landlord. So without knowing it, you know, they're writing the songs for you. you all you've got to do is just write down the lines that they give you. Like in medicine, they say you must listen to the patient telling you the diagnosis. If he keeps on going, which I'm sure he will, <clears throat> he's still good for another 30 years of songwriting. And he's going to have about 10,000 songs. I mean, I've read many books about how to write the sort of deathless three-minute pop wonders. And uh, anyway, nobody can tell you how to do it. You know, I don't think that you can even sit down and do it. it, it it's, it's, it's just sheer happenstance that it comes out like a deathless pop one. And also the recording, because sometimes God takes over in a recording. Into the Night We Slide, I th out of all the albums I've heard in my life, I still think that those are the best lyrics I've ever heard on an, on an LP, ever. Because Radio Rats is very, very li lyrics heavy. Don't you ever leave me, baby. Do you remember those words? It's, it's also in 12 at time, just like ZX Dance, in the same co uh, key as ZX Dance. Well, let's try it anyway. I never remember words. <laughs> well, you can rattle my cage, tease me, babe, make me scream all night with rage. Flick cigarettes between the bars, love when I touch the burning. to me as a musician I think he's a musical genius I'm sure he might be famous but I'm sure he's going to be like a Herman Charles Bosman type of person he'll die one day and then everybody will say oh my god Jonathan Handley oh he wrote all these amazing songs it'll be too late then of course uh, I really enjoy music I, I, I sing I mean I walk in the street and I sing I, I not only sing in the shower I sing everywhere I go you either are a songwriter or you are not I mean I look at people uh, diving off diving boards and, and people with amazing talent um, doing things. And I mean, that is, that I can write songs. I know I can write songs. So I'm not ashamed of the fact that I'm a songwriter. But that is basically my job. I have to write songs. I think that if I didn't, it would be bad because then I would be actually uh, ignoring something that I could do really well. I've never, ever met anyone like Jonathan that I can relate to so easily musically, you know, and I think that's where it's at. I think, uh, uh, I mean, I don't want to name drop or anything, but if you look at Mick Jagger and Keith Richard, here's a microcosm, Jonathan and, and myself. Okay. Right now. 
dream because passion is the poison in this jungle and it is spread from you to me turning joy into sorrow from sorrow to magic me give me passion well it's the classic story of south africans and what they think of their culture which is very little they're not really interested. We just miss out totally. We we just got our skate to front and our basketball and our rap music and our throb raves. Anything that comes from overseas we embrace. But things that come from here, which is which is the stuff that is ours, we don't really care for. Like all the songs Jonathan writes are our songs. They belong to us, they belong to you, and they belong to me. He says that this one kid was standing there in front of him, a youngish guy saying, and after each song when they'd finish, he'd, he'd say, spell Harsey, and they'd ignore him for a while. And then after about the fifth request to spell Harsey, they said to him, what is Harsey? Sing a few lines for us, you know? And the guy went, Harsey, a bad moon rising. <laughs> Describe us as rock and rollers. I would say indigenous South African ducktail music. That's nice. Indigenous South African ducktail. Springs ducktail music. You know, slightly ignorant. I mean, sometimes we say debacle instead of debacle. We've got to plug into Africa and into each other and into our world, into our society. We've got to plug into Orkney and not just think that Orkney is some cuck little place on the Wa River. There's an oak there writing fantastic songs. Every day is doing it. And that's, and that's a miracle for me in this country that there are still people that actually still care enough. It's like we care about people, why don't they care about us? and Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden? <laughs> yeah. Do you like Iron Maiden? No, I've never heard it. Nirvana, Cranberries. Grunge. Do you like any local music? No. No. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's local. <laughs> and why is local horrible? Because it's like Cora Marie or Steve of Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> Someone keeps liking it. <laughs> what if people are watching you love that music? 
What do you do in Orkney? I go to the arcade and spend my pocket money on games. And what's your favourite game? Mortal Kombat 2. Why? Because you can, you the guy, he rips your arms off, then the guy stands there with all the blood pouring out, <laughs> and then Kintaro hits you apart, and then you fall on the ground, and then all the blood squelches out, and this guy pick, picks you up, then electrocutes you, then, you'll, then you explode, then all the bones go all over the place and the blood. And this guy, he hits you into acid, then you see the skeleton come up. Mm. He's not a rock star, he's not a star. <laughs> My father just buggered all his songs up by letting Yanni Steenberg play, play the piano. Yeah, and I hope he has this on TV. Yeah, they, they, they both, I think, they're very good children. Don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> kind of like a man and father, eh? Yeah, pop star housewife. 25 years ago today she was born in the country town had a happy childhood all the way until the teenage years came round then she sang in a band made a few mistakes hung out with the wrong friend married too soon took heat too late and so the good times in now she's a pop star housewife up the dishes, I'm trapped inside a glass bowl, like a tropical fisher, singing to the radio, and knowing all the adverts, she should be on the hit parade, except she's got two kids. How much money have I made from music? Probably about four and twenty. We have nothing. Yeah. No. Look, I mean, our budget is... I can't even afford the tape. Trying to make a living out of music is like climbing a, a flight of stairs with a piano strapped to your back, throwing 50 rand notes away on, on, on your way up. That pretty much sums up uh, how much money you can make out of music in, in uh, South Africa. Whereas if you play rock and roll, you just like one below, one above a child molest, you know, that's just not recognized as a legitimate art form. I want a limo. Forget about a house, a pool, all that crap. I want a limo. I want a chauffeur, and she must be nice. <laughs> that is what I want. The box lady outside here.
No, I love painting in winter because it gets dark early and then I put on CDs and then I just, you know, paint boxes, paint doors. At the moment I'm putting lyrics onto things that go onto the floor, that's my latest. Theatre of Electric Chairs, very old rat song, is the, is, the, is the sort of main number. And this is a real bedroom recording. I mean, it is recorded in a bedroom in Orkney. We rats are very studio friendly. Um, it, it's, like, it's like tacky, you know? It just, it just happens. We do not make bugger ups. We do not wipe tracks out. We do not get outside noises on our backing tracks. We do everything to perfection. It's one take and it's finished. <laughs> so in other words, we'll probably complete two albums this afternoon. <laughs> I love you just the same. 